Welcome to our deep dive into Rust programming. Today, we're tackling a puzzling question from one of our viewers about the Fuse Iterator Adapter. They're experiencing unexpected results when using it in their code. Let's explore why the Fuse Iterator might not be working as they anticipated. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the issue with the Fuse Iterator Adapter. In your code, you have two iterators, I1 and I2. The first iterator, I1, behaves as expected. The iterator I1 uses the scan method, which returns none for values less than two and some for values equal to or greater than two. This is why it prints none, sum two, and then none again. Now let's look at iterator I2, which is the same as I1, but adapted with the fuse method. The fuse method is supposed to ensure that after the first none, it will only return none. However, in your case, I2 still returns sum2 after the first none. This is because the fuse method does not change the underlying iterator's behavior. It only affects how it handles the end of the iteration. To fix this, you need to ensure that the logic in your scan closure correctly handles the state of the iterator. The fuse method will only prevent further values after the first none if the iterator is exhausted. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The Fuse Iterator Adapter may not work as expected due to a bug that has been fixed in Rust version 1.19 and newer. If you're experiencing issues, you're likely not doing anything wrong. The problem could stem from a confusing interaction with the iterator. The fused iterator trait is unstable and aims to improve efficiency, but it requires specific conditions to function correctly. If the underlying iterator is a fused iterator and returns none, the scan function will also return none. However, the closure can also return none, leading to unexpected results. And that's it, guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see you. Have a good one.